Rally. Hello and welcome to the Vegan Steven Podcast. Vegan Steven Podcast is a party of podcasts. Vegan Steven's fictional character. All characters are in this show, even though it's based on real people and are entirely fictional. Man, that was pretty good for one breath, wasn't it? Damn it. Fuck yeah, man. I've got to pat myself. Don't, as they say in Ireland, don't hurt yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Because, uh, <laughs> and self-praise is no praise. <laughs> oh, oh, it is gas. It is gas. Lads have no time for, uh, do you know, just, uh, as I said before, sometimes, you know, being a fictional character on that, you get a bit of an ego and go, oh, class. <laughs> but if you try that shit in public, in a, in a bar with all your mates, they're like, sit your ass down. <laughs> or two. Anyway, sure, here we go. Today we're talking about Madeleine McCann. And today we are, she's been, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever. Today's date is... As usual, we don't know, but the time is 11.25. It is your morning espresso. It is June 2020, the 6th. It is a Saturday. So, some of you might be holding your heads, being like, Oh, what did I do last night? Who did you shift? Did I shift me, mate? Did I shift me, boss? So, my, my main experience with uh, Madeline McCann is uh, telling very horrific jokes about her. Um, so, this, uh, I don't know if this classifies as hate speech or, or whatever, but if you're easily offended, as you know, the Vegan Stephen podcast is strictly over 21s, and so th- it's got to be highly offensive. Alright? And if you're still here, oh man, we used to go on this website called uh, rotten.com, I think it is, or something like that, and it used to be uh, just jokes. That would be um, what. What you normally do is get something that you're not allowed to joke about, so a kind of a sensitive topic, and then put something uh, horrific beside it. So um, it might be anything. It's called, it's like shock humor. All right. So once again, yet something that's very you're not meant to make fun of. of any passage like don't don't do not joke about this no matter what, and then you just go fucking. 90 down the fucking freeway and make it as horrendous as you can and just start throwing in stuff that's people and then people will be nearly getting sick listening to the joke okay so you've been warned as i said i was uh, i was an immature little lad and i was kind of pissed off just being like oh why is this man in can on the news all the time um just uh i had no emotional attachment or whatever i thought kids were silly didn't really understand and uh, so, I don't know, p- kids, loads of kids just kept making up jokes and they were going around in school, like, so, kinda, I can't remember any of them, unfortunately. So I'll have to quote other people who aren't me on the internet and I think the only way I can get away with this is if I go, oh, that's awful, I shouldn't have said that. So, and it's direct quotes from them or something, because otherwise I think it comes to hate speech or something. I'm not sure. But that's what we're going to do. So, I'm talking about this because a new case thing has been broken in the, in the news and it says, uh, uh, I probably have to go over the history of Madame McCann, unfortunately, but if maybe everyone knows it to death, who knows, but an awkward one because I'm not meant if, if you make the slightest joke I'm just oh jeez that's very inappropriate <laughs> alright there's been a new lad found uh, in the German prison in connection with the whole Madeleine McCann thing no jokes to be made <coughs> So, why she's in the news again? One hour ago, Christian Bierenkener was flagged as key Madeleine McCann kidnapped murder. So, this German lad floating around in a kind of a caravan they use as his base and. Oh, honey, cause you're mad at me Didn't like you, but I 
out the squeaky floorboards on backing vocals there. Can you hear them? I used to do this. <laughs> I used to do this podcast with shoes on. And it used just in the background you used to hear. I was like, what the fuck is that? Listen back to the podcast. It turns out it was just me walking around. Just massive fucking earth shattering footsteps because of the, the compression and you know if you have that on radio it's just fucking super loud and compressed um, but yeah so Madeline McCann oh jeez um, there's a there's a trick actors do sometimes to keep in peak performance and p- uh, people like Prince do it David Bowie uh I have loads of, loads of actors and stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> the trick is, is that you don't eat uh, around performance time. So ideally, you get up, do your performance, and then fucking get out or whatever. Because when you don't eat, you're like more alert. Because um, me, for example, if I, if I eat, I always overeat and then just fucking pass out and fall asleep. That's <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you can hear the, the the old gurgles and gumbles sometimes in the in the podcast. Which is fucking gas. Stomach just going. Feed me. Why are you filling me up with acid coffee, you silly Billy? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you super fucking alert. because. Uh, I guess when you're hungry, your 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 senses are a bit peaked because you're kind of uncomfortable, and it's that uncomfort that is. As you know yourself, it's about staying out of your comfort zone, because uh, as the Dwayne Johnson says, the rock. When you're your comfort place is a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. So yeah, sure he's a ripped fucker. Where's that going from? I just saw uh, what's the fucking the, sometimes builder no it's a builder's fucking lads lose water weight before uh, a weigh in because wait lads before weigh ins matches. They have to lose a load of weight or something to get in the way in and then they put on loads of weight so they're as much as possible or something so that they have more power behind their punch or some shit. I don't know. Well, it's basically they try to cheat on the way in to make sure they're below a certain thing so they're in. I don't really know. I don't really know what the fuck it is. Yeah. But anyway, how they lose a fuckload of water. You can lose a fuckload of water weight but you just put it back on like because it's just fucking water. Um, but one thing they do to lose water weight is fucking hilarious. They uh, <laughs> just went, well. It, the funny, funny, funny videos I saw was just lads working out. But to to make themselves sweat, they just fucking put bin bags <laughs> over themselves. They're sweating balls and fucking bin bags. Uh, I think they they also use like fucking saunas and all this stuff, and they stop put drinking or something like that. Like not pints, pints, but <laughs> to keep them up. <laughs> Tyson some lad he fucking he smoked fucking weed every day of his life even before fights like what a trooper <laughs> what a fucking trooper <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ like before they fight Jesus he also said he was mad for riding he said he just fucking um uh he'd just get it out of the way like so he wouldn't have to worry about it the rest of the day there's this myth, you always see Irish travellers going on about I'd stay away from the woman fucking six months because of you! <laughs> uh, the fucking superhero rejects like I am Stumpy Jack from fucking Farmer Banish Law! <laughs> Um, 
if you ever want a good laugh, look up uh, Traveller Traveller Fight Traveller Fight call out videos. And it's like a really, really fucking shit W well WWE and WF and all that, it's like wrestling or whatever. Uh, it's, it's always like it's like Coronation Street or like a, a really cheesy soap. What's it? Is he home and away? All right, it's like home and away or Coronation Street or a Spanish soap proper kind of things. They're they're bitching about you. You slip my wife. <laughs> uh, man, she fucking uh, she told my dad to have an abortion or something. I don't know. Just outrageous shit, right? So, uh, fucking yeah, traveler Irish traveler call it videos. They're like, uh, fucking, I lent you my USB. Key. I can't do. I can't even remember the fucking. See you, Tommy. Uh, I lent you my fucking. I'm after losing the confidence now. I can't remember what, what the fucking accent is. Um, it was you that started this with the USB sticks. Uh, and the internet. I can't fucking rage, man. Your accents don't matter, do they? fucking gas it's like right yeah they're just like they're fucking call each other out to fight to fight i think there's money involved or something it's like a kind of a an underground gambling thing they put the families put money in the fucking thing it's a whole fucking thing uh fucking fascinating documentaries about it it's fucking so interesting it's fucking class but we gotta stick to the subject ladies and gentlemen we gotta stick to madame mccann jokes that is right all right here we go so there's this lad and he switch to the b-roll so make sure you hit that subscribe button ring that particular that bell 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 uh tiktok vegan steven music youtube possibly vegan steven music and instagram twitter Twitter machine. There you are. Best place to get your comments not with on the YouTube page. For a chance of getting them read out on the show. Metal McCann. Alright. Uh, German authorities ignored tip about suspect 2013. Christian Bianca was flagged as key blah, blah, kidnapper thing. Madeleine McCann, latest news suspect leaked to missing German. She's German? Oh man, I'm so confused. Alright, so this woman went. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, rough story. Um, is fucking there was a load of kids in a room i don't think the windows probably open or something who knows and big story because there was a load of doctors and they're on the holiday a load of doctors on the holiday fucking grand their kid goes missing all right they're all white so that's good they lose love of, like white white cute white kids the news are like fucking brilliant we can get we can get some serious mileage out of this uh <laughs> There's loads of people saying like kids go missing the ghetto every day. Fucking no news coverage. But they were fucking hammering this. Um, anyway, she listen. Money jumping on the Black Lives Matter. Cause fucking hashtag is everyone else's. Fucking. Anyway. Madeleine McCann. German authorities ignored tip off about suspect grand. So, th what's interesting is Daily Mail, name and shame him, B or U E N K I or. Uh, but he's already in prison. So, this lad's in prison, right? And. I think he's a, he's like a known. Uh, he's, in, he's in prison for having sex with an underage girl. So. That doesn't look good. <laughs> And, uh, fucking, yeah, there you are. All right, so there's a new sus sus suspect in the news saying it's a big news story 
And what happened was fucking right. The it was a big hoo ha about it because they were doctors and they gave sedatives, I believe, of some description to their kids, and they were out drinking pints. Uh, but to be honest, they did it in the best fucking way you could do it, ish. Not really. I don't know. They checked on their kids every half hour. And they took different turns to do it. And I guess they had experience given sedatives because they were doctors or something. I don't know. But the public lost their fucking mind. They were like, oh my god, you gave your kids sedatives. Oh my fuck, my. And everyone was like, oh, the parents did it. Oh, jeez. And it was a big thing because you'd be talking to your neighbours about it. Being like, oh, jeez, who do you think did it? Like, like, oh, it was definitely that lad down the road, man. He was a fucking dodgy man. He was between this time and this time. And, fu- <laughs> and uh, fucking, yeah, it was one of those things, lots of people had their own opinion about it because it was covered to death. And every few years, be like, oh, new evidence just came out. And then fucking, they dropped the case and there was loads of pu- public outcry from them to take the case back up. And so it was very in the public eye. And... Okay. Um, let's see. So the kid went missing. Um, every so often in the news, there's like an update on what Madeleine McCann would look like today at the age of I don't know. They keep they keep they keep bringing it up. <laughs> uh, okay, McCann uh, suspect linked to disappearance. German boy of 11 years. Uh, Portuguese police insist. This is the son. The last one was extra dotty, excuse me. The son says Portuguese police insist they did pass on McCann's McCann suspect name to UK. Express says McCann, McCann, Madeleine McCann disappearance. McCann's moved by big public reaction to appeal. Uh, I, there's just loads of people going, oh, the parents definitely did it all. Gee, I'd say they, they fucked it up and then they buried the body and all of it. Uh, and there was loads of shit going on. I think the Portuguese authorities were like, parents did it. Case solved. And then, uh, at one stage, um, because it always is the fucking parents, like. So, or at least someone close them, like, it's. Very rarely. Anyway, so it turns out this lad was a known predator, and he was fucking. He was in the area at the time, and he has te- a text or something, linking him very even more close to the area, and he did it before. So it fucking seems. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Uh, Man, uh, the Daily Mail says McCann witnesses say Christian Brunk, that's B or U E N K U R is the man she saw near her apartment. Oh my word! So there's a whole thing about those uh, saw lads saw people around and, and all these things. Um, so. They think there was someone like looking in the window, and there was something like that they saw a lad looking in the window every so often, and that he did stuff and all this stuff. They're just everyone in the area got fucking. They were like, oh, was it the fucking. Oh, Jesus. Was it the cow down the road? The cow was looking particularly suspicious that day. Normally the cow was eating grass, but that day she was. Driving a cow or some shit. Everyone got, everyone got it, got it, got it. And every few years they'd be like, hey. Madeline McCann, suspect, oh Jesus, raped US tourist, 72, in a villa, just 10 minute walk from something. Jeez, 72? It's a bit of a fucking. Jeez. This lad's. Jeepers creepers. I don't think I even have the stomach to make the fucking Madame McCann jokes out. Oh lad. 
See, we got to desensitize to it because we're hearing it all night and all day. Um, the bring burning bringhammail.co.uk missing McCann is alive and living under identity with a German family, a psychic who works for the police has claimed a psychic. Did you ever fuck off yourself? Oh, Jesus. Psychics. Now, I didn't want to get political and bring psychics into this, but... Get political. <laughs> oh, laugh at me on jokes. Right, here we go. Metro. Officer investigated joke about Madeleine McCann's parents. Oh, my word. So... <laughs> Female cop and mom, 48, investigated for mocking McCann's parents. Oh, my word. This is... This is, how could anyone, how dare they make, I can't, let's see what they said, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Come on, loopholes. Alright. Uh, Paula says, this is the mirror UK. So what is she, she's a mother of one. And she was so bored in coronavirus lockdown, she would even go on holiday with Madeleine McCann's parents, Kate and Jerry. Oh! So she might be a parent with the parents did it. <laughs> it's like Cluedo. It's like Cluedo. And, uh, ah. Oh. So that's not even bad, like, that's not even fucking bad. The, the fucking jokes I've heard. Um, it brought in a new wave of jokes, the dead baby jokes, and they were like jokes you just fucking you'd nearly pass out from laughing because it was it's one of the funniest things is when you know you shouldn't laugh at something and it's like you're with someone's whispering to you in school there and just you nearly think you're gonna have a fucking asthma attack even though you don't have asthma you can't fucking breathe start convulsing with the, the absolute lulls because you're, you're not supposed to laugh at that time especially not about that so let's see here we go Bristol uh, Police Professional Standards Department is now investigating it oh for fuck's sake you're not allowed to have a fucking life anyway whatever excuse me uh, yeah 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 there's lots of people just going parents definitely did it parents definitely did it <laughs> uh, as I said, oh, I never really go flying fuck about it. Um, I just always hear fucking everyone go. Um, so I kind of just seeped in, and because uh, um, now you know, older older person, kind of interested about oh jeez, murder murder cases and all this stuff. But at the time, I was like, here, listen, lads, I I want to want to just. Play a video game or whatever the fuck it is. No, just no time for this. Right, here we go. I've seen the sign of rebellion. Making jokes about some. Okay. Uh, professional standards, yada yada yada. Alright, Grant. Oh. James Law says, picked her time. For a sick comment, should be thoroughly ashamed. These people are in positions of trust. They they can do what they like. Hope she is disciplined. Made to apologise for them to the McCanns. How stupid, says Kelly. And uh, Paratax says, police humour like the McCanns humour can be quite dark. It is a way of dealing with a highly successful job where the danger is very real. Stressful job. You, while you might be upset by it, uh, don't, oh Jesus, and don't appreciate, at least understand where it comes from. This, this lad's a fucking amateur psychologist here. Psychologist, one of the jobs. Or else an amateur gener generator, I'm not sure. Gener he's an amateur generator. Would that be it? Oh 
Okay, I am a war veteran and seen many pretty horrible things in a far few campaigns in some of the chew chewiest warning hots. Alright, we get the idea. Dark humour helped us through very, very dark times. But, capital all caps, but, yeah but, yeah but, yeah but, yeah but, yeah but, he's a yeah but. Yeah but. There's a time and a place to be honest, silly sassy. Silly lassie. Oh, jeez. Was that a micro, a sexist microaggression? I think it might have been. Alright. Man, that joke is fucking so mild. So fucking mild. Man, they're showing loads of bit. They're really fucking name and shaming, aren't they? Fuck me. Alright. Uh, all time hottest joke in abduction. Oh, so yeah. Fuck yeah. Sickopedia. That was the, the joke place. Alright. So I've got. Just for, you know. Uh, what's that word called? Reporting reasons or something. Oh jeez. TikTok is filled with dad jokes about McCann. Jeepers. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Alright. Is this the McCann? Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? I don't know if this is any good, but I don't know where the best ones are. Alright, I'm pretty up to go. Who's Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright. You ready? You ready to okay. Just for investigation purposes, Sycopedia.net. Here we go. A brand new car is being I'm trying to think if I missed that. No, okay, here we go. A brand new car... Because you won't understand these unless you know it. Okay, anyway, here we go. A brand new car is being launched in Portugal. See, we wouldn't fucking... Kids wouldn't understand this. Please, I don't fucking know. Uh, you've already lost me. Because I didn't know it was in Portugal to now. Uh, which includes... Space in the boot for a child. It's called Renault McCann. So there you are. So that's pretty mild, like. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, quite ironic how Kate McCann's book. Madeline costs about the same price as a babysitter. Oh, these are fucking so mild. Alright, because <laughs> uh, people are giving out. Oh, but they not just get a babysitter. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't. Uh, I know two people who McCann. Alright, don't get that one. Madeline McCann. Just has beaten Osama bin Laden's hide and seek record. Right, to be honest, I'm, these aren't even tickling me. These are all just, these are not even, anyway, whatever. Today is the 10 year anniversary of Kate and Jerry McCann's new found fortune. Don't understand that. I've seen an artist's impression of how the Madeleine McCann would look today, ten years after her disappearance. This is space, so I guess this next bit's the punchline. I know how accurate it is, but I was... Sorry, I don't know how accurate it is, but I was expecting more sketch marks around the mouth. Stretch marks around the mouth. Oh, jeez. I think I get that, but I'm not sure. Uh, hey, Jerry, shall we take Madeline? The parents must be called Jerry and something else. Kate. 
No disrespect to Jerry or Kate. Thoughts and prayers. All praise to... No, what's his name? Allah. Hey, Jerry. Shall we take out for tapas with us? Should we take Madeline out for tapas with us? Nah, Kate. Let the kid nap. Alright, some kind of pun there. Okay. I've just finished reading Kate McCann's book, so she must have came out with a book. Uh, why would she have a fucking book? Anyway, she has a book, so fair play to her. Um, anyway, I won't make any things about that. Here we go. Moving on. She, I finished reading McCann's book. Okay, so she must have a book of some, some kind. She left the door open for a sequel. Oh, so she just left the door open or, or something. I don't know. What's got eight feet and ten toes? The McCann family. Oh, sorry. What's got eight feet and ten shoes? The McCann family. I don't fucking... These are... I don't understand any of these, man. Fucking... Anyway, here we go. da 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 To, gonna have to bring in the big fucking boys because this this website is fucking mild, fierce mild. Uh, these are just like oh, so grand, so grand. All right, we're going in again. This is called six. Sickcore.aussie.websites.net Joke subcategory Alternate Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go Here's a one Jose Macaroni Mo So he must be something to do with it Has said he wants to go back to Portugal And never be seen or heard of again The McCanns have offered to help Shit. So, there you are. <laughs> and the World 2020 Social Distancing... Sorry. And the World 2020 Social Distancing Champion is... Madeline McCann. Alright. Now, these are so fucking mild. They're not even... Oh, jeez. That's... It's just... Oh. I think it's a disgrace how the press treat Kate McCann. So that must be the mother of the... Yeah. So I've emailed her my full support. Given her my full support, okay. To let her know if she needs any help. My door is always open. So she, I don't know, she must have left, left the door open or something for a bit of air or... So she could take a check on them or something. I don't know. Um, so they're, they're um, let's see. They were on the... Uh, there, there was like a fucking... It's in, in their defense or whatever. Well, I guess don't drug your kids. But they were very close to their, their kids or whatever-ish. Like, it was, have you ever been to, like, a holiday resort thing? There's, like, a closed-in kind of holiday resort thing. And they have, like, this the apartments, and then you look down, and it's a swimming pool. Well, they were kind of, like, just having drinks beside the swimming pool. And they were right beside the apartment pond cups where everyone lives, kind of thing. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know. There was a lot of hints at a cover-up and stuff. But, who knows? Um, okay, here we go. I think it's disgraceful how the press treat... Yeah, wonderful. Got it. Got it. Want it. Got it. Want it. So it's got it. Got it. Want it. Got it. Want it. Me looking for pictures on the side of milk cartons. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That was fucking... Yeah, okay. That was that was a lot more dark than Oh Jesus. Okay. Kate and Jerry McCann Advent calendar is a bit shit. 
the windows have all been opened and some cunt has nicked all the chocolates. The Kate and Jerry McCann advent calendar is a bit shit. The windows have all been opened and some cunt has nicked the chocolates. Maybe that's clicking with you, I'm just, I just, just fucking, I don't know. Uh, I'm not being tickled, my laughter button's not being... Alright, do you agree that Victoria's... Oh, just get into Joseph Fritchell there. Jesus. And now, this may be highly offensive, so here we go. Um... Oh, this might be a racist joke. Maybe this was a really, really, really bad idea. Oh, God. Alright. This is a quote by someone called... Schumann. So... Yeah, here, here's what it says. Uh, Muslims... Oh, dear. This isn't going to go down well. So, apologies to everyone involved. Have stopped helping the search for Madeleine McCann now that she would have been 16. Don't quote. I just kind of see what they're hinting at, hinting at but I don't quite get it. Alright. Um, what do Madeleine McCann and jokes about Madeleine McCann have in common? Neither will ever get old. That's like an old standard. Um, and, and, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. McCann jokes. Okay, here we go. So this is upjoke.com. So I think these are kind of, I was expecting those other ones from Sigpedia to be like fucking horrific and they're all grand. Nearly. Like some of them were a bit, one was like a little bit political or something. But, uh, I don't know. Here, what do Jerry McCann and Thomas Cook have in common? Unfortunately, I don't know who Thomas Cook is. Both will take you on holiday, but they won't bring you home. Okay. So it seems like some people were really, see, when they were given their they were doing some, not the, yeah, some people blame the parents. Anyway, who knows? There were no charges or whatever, so, okay, whatever. Uh, so, they did a documentary on Netflix about the Madeleine McCann. All right. Eight episodes, roughly eight hours, and if you watched it, you watched her more than her parents did. Oh. What's the difference between a car and Madeleine McCann? I don't have a dead car in my garage. That is, that is the quintessential uh, foundation of the dead baby joke. That's classic rigid formula. I like it. What's the difference between a car and Madeleine McCann? I don't have a dead car in my garage. Yeah. So you'd be saying that's the kind of one you'd be saying on the building site when the you know no right. That's the kind of joke you say you look over your shoulder and like right, no one's listening. And then you say that in there and you'll see people go, ah! It's like slapping the table. Because <laughs> it's so bold. It's so bold. It just fucking factory reset. You just fucking smash my brain. I don't know how to compute that, and you just fucking start screaming your head off laughing. And then there's some beside you, oh, that's awful. You shouldn't say that. But then they secretly are laughing at that. Do you know what those fucking arseholes who's like scream and laugh with you and they go, no, you actually should not make jokes like that because that's very, very stupid. I didn't get that fucking mate. 
You just la cried yourself laughing there, all right? You should be paying me right now. Ah, hey, 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 hey. What's the difference between Michael McCann and, uh, yeah, Grant? What new Mac Madeleine McCann documentary on Netflix was great and all. That new Madeleine McCann documentary on Netflix was great and all. So there's been countless, countless documentaries about the whole Madeleine McCann thing. And, oh, God. As I said, it's just a fucking household name case. Um, and it's like a reference point. Because you're like, oh, jeez, what happened there? And they're like, oh, jeez, Madeline McCann job. And you're like, oh, fair enough. One of them. And kind of tells you. Anyway, what's the difference between a car and... Right, moving on. Uh, that new Madeline McCann documentary on Netflix was great. And all. It just felt like there was something still missing. Dot, 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 dot. Right. So that must have been the joke or something. Alright, here we go. I saw the new Madeleine McCann documentary last night. Don't want to spoil the ending, but... They got away with it. <laughs> Jesus. I, I was going to post my best Madeleine McCann joke. But my parents would kill me. Not everyone can get away with murder, but I know a couple who can, who McCann. A bit of a pun there, I know a couple who McCann. Mm. I think, um, what was so... See, a lot of people didn't understand, but when they saw the, the interviews with them talking to the press or whatever, in the public, that's when people went, oh. They're kind of saying some stuff a bit unusually there. What's that? What's going on there? Just some of it just kind of like just reckon, felt a bit forced or whatever. But at the same time, like I don't know. Alright, do we have any more? Oh my god. Does this mean I'm going to be disciplined now because I made a bold joke? Who, who disciplines YouTubers? Podcasters. Podcasters. episode of my count as complete smut look but I'm not even these aren't even shocking enough like I don't know. like if I was gonna get cancelled or something I'd want it to be for telling at least a joke that was fucking funny or like I'm probably just so used to these jokes so I don't know here we go mm -hmm, baby 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 Alright. Oh, this, this joke looks like a million years old. Uh... <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Here's some, you know, the other side. Ah! Alright. Uh, Madeleine McCann jokes. Okay. So, uh, I just want to... Just to preface this, here's some here's some reactions because you know I'm not I'm not saying they're they're good. So here's the other side. Uh, one lad says, "You are sick. Why the actual fuck? Why you would be writing about a child getting taken? What is wrong with you?" All right. So it's there's a lot of outrage there, and perhaps right right for yourself. Another lad says, "What's wrong with you? What the fuck?" Uh, Grania says, these are really sick people. 
Why are you joking about child that is missing, abducted, and most likely raped? Oh, shit. Yikes. I forgot about that last one. Balls. Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, yeah, you can see just general people's reaction. Um, so here is, uh, oh my god. So here's a very highly inappropriate joke, and I do not uh, fucking approve of it whatsoever. Okay. Here's an example of what, this is from a lad called, sick individual, called Chucky. He was wrong! He should resign from Google or something. Here you go. What is the difference, he says. What is the difference between Pope John Paul II and Madeleine McCann? Got me back. The Pope died a virgin. Okay. What is the... See, I think what happened was, when I was yo a bit younger, I thought these were fucking hilarious. Um, I don't know. Here we go, here we go. Maybe they are hilarious. What's the difference between Madeleine McCann and... Madeleine McCann jokes. Okay, what's the difference between Madeleine McCann and Madeleine McCann jokes? Madeleine McCann jokes will get old. Yeah. There right, we go. What's the difference between Madeleine McCann and G Gary Glitter? Gary Glitter is a. Uh, I think he wrote, had sex with boys and. Something on holidays or something? I don't know. Uh, don't sue me, Gary, please. You had that one good song. Right, here we go. What's the difference between uh, McCann's and Gary Glitter? Gary Glitter comes back from his holidays with more kids than he left with. Jeez, does he? Fuck. Oh wait, Gary Glitter. Is he that other weird guy? Oh wait. I think I'm getting mixed up my celebrities here. Alright. Is Gary Glitter that really weird guy? Anyway, let's keep going. A new car being launched in Portugal with space in the boot for a child. It's called Renault McCann. Alright, that, that must be just fucking the best one going. There once was a young child called McCann. She had... An irresponsible daddy. Man, I thought this was a lovely fucking poem. Anyway, let's keep going. Snatched from her bed, she probably died raped by a Portuguese badly. That doesn't... That's not even slightly a poem. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Anyway, alright. Um, maybe that's like a limerick or something. Who knows? What's the difference between Madeline and a boomerang? Boomerang has come back. Remember, drinking alcohol can seriously harm your baby. Especially if you're in Portugal and can't be arsed to pay for a babysitter. I think that's my favourite one. Because I think that... Yeah, I think that one's like... Not... I think you could... Maybe tell that and people go, oh jeez, that's it. I think everyone at the table would be like, ooh. Mm. Yeah, I think that would be alright to say.
we'll just have a little look at any other Man of McCann stuff. Okay, here's some little bit of history. Man of McCann disappeared on the evening of May 3rd, 2007. What a year, 2007. That was before the bang. That was on the bang. <sighs> Procession. 2007, from her bed in a holiday apartment at the, a resort in Praia de Lis in Algrave region of Portugal. The Daily Telegraph described the disappearance, uh, disappearance as the most heavily reported missing person case in modern history. Parents Jerry McCann, uh, Kate McCann, which are currently trending, uh, missing for 13 years and 6 days. Um, and there we are. Uh, oh, Jesus. Here's a little thing by. <laughs> oh shit. Did Madeline McCann parents do it? Says. Oh, it doesn't say. Must have been deleted. Anyway, who knows? Uh, so, yeah, new suspect disappearance. Alright. We think Madeline McCann is dead two days ago. Um, so I think people were still uh, fucking holding out that she was alive. Uh, and of course, like. Statistically! It wouldn't be likely, but surely. There's always hope. Uh, McCann, German authorities ignored tip off. McCann, that, that's just reading some headlines there. Sky News, The Sun, again, suspect linked to yeah, the, uh, disappearance of Madeline McCann. Alright, so we have a little Wikipedia thing here, and let's just have a little look at what it says on Wikipedia. Any little bits and bobs, because there's they've written extensively about the whole Man of McCann thing. Like this is a huge fucking file. Uh, this is a Netflix documentary. Out. <laughs> Text in the area and stuff. Uh, okay, it's fucking alright. Gamble report. Loads of different fucking inquiries. And private investigations. Jesus. Lads raising money. Inquiries closed in 2008. McCann returned to the UK and stuff about sniffer dogs. Yeah, there was stuff like they found like blood in the apartment and all. And they were saying that was cleaned up and like, the dad fucking rented a car and drove off somewhere and then came back. Like there was a lot of stuff that was just like, ah, oh, geez, that seems a bit odd. So, yeah, the police were... There you are. It's, a, it's an uproar because people said the police just said, ah, oh, the parents did it, and they felt like they, they stopped looking for other sources. Um, so... 
Uh -huh. That's what love the uproar is about. Sounds like a sh Angela Hiss, doesn't it? Um, right, so I think you're well informed there. Just having a look at the Wikipedia thing, there's nothing major. There's just loads of like never ending details. Um, oh, they saw a man walking down the road with a fucking kid. That was one other thing in his hands, but they didn't know if it was just like. Just someone on holidays because their kid was tired, and there's also yeah, there's, a, there's a fucking all sorts of shit. There's the restaurant tapes, um, over breakfast. Madeline asks, "Why didn't you come when?" And I cried last night after the disappearance. Her parents wondered whether this meant someone had entered the children's bedroom. Her mother also noticed a large brown stain on Madeline's pyjama top. A large brown stain? I don't know. There's just fucking never ending little. Oh, was someone fucking. Oh, blah, blah. Could have been this random lad who was there last Oh, gee, no, maybe it's this lad. And. Pff, you're only told like fucking three sentences about the person. Uh, watching these documentaries, I was like, oh my god, it was him. But, uh... you don't have all the information available. Because, yeah, so... A lot, a lot of times, documentary making is just... Just... Mix back with fiction a bit and... Hype shit up. Uh, and the word, oh, jeez, all the documentaries are like, it's like... We'll, we'll fucking, you, you sit there like a fucking idiot, watching an hour and a half documentary, and you're like, we, and then the end is, we'll never know. <laughs> I like, God, God damn it, I was watching this documentary to fucking learn something, and all you're giving me is fucking more questions. Fucking prick. <laughs> Alright, listen, that is the end of the Vegan Stephen podcast. I hope uh, you weren't too offended. I was hoping to offend you a lot more, to be honest, but I didn't look particularly hard, but you look. And have an awesome day. Check out the merch. Stay in contact. Every single day, over and out. Have an awesome life, you big pup. <laughs>